What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, second day in a row we got mods when they are on Christmas break. Well, you know what? I am not going to complain. Well, let's see. On consoles today, we got the Rice RTWK 200S700, the Ray Bluebird 3000, the Dutch Fur D16006, the DCM Runner Pack, the VSR Tech 360, Half Timbered Building Set, Twin Silage Shed, Grain Storage Facility, Brick Shed, Bunker Silo MVP 19, Slurry Cell Point, Sawmill, and Christmas Market Trees. For updates for today, we got the Crescetto Pack, Transport Trailer 25 Amp, the John Deere 8000 Container Carrier, Old Styled Farmhouse with Barn, Machine Shed with Workshop, and Placeable Solar Panels. You know what? Let's just roll that intro and let's get into these new mods, guys. Here we go. Okay, so the first new mod we got for today is a trailer under, of course, the trailer section. This is the Reich RTWK 200S 700. $46,000, 22 slots, 38,300 is its capacity. Options on this one, we got main color red, green, or gray. Extension is standard, which is 25,000, or with the extension, which is 38,300. Wilburn, we got Nakian, or we got Lizard. Uh, Lizard, you have standard, you have standard, Standard, okay, it just looks like wide tires. Uh, and then let's see design, we got red, we got black, and then back to red. So there's the options for the Rice RTWK 200S 700. Okay, and after that one, we have a new cultivator. This is the Rabe Bluebird 3000, 4,573.0 working meters, 10 slots. It does require 90 horsepower on that, and options on this one, we got main color as raved blue or black, design color, blue or black. Then let's see, leveler, we got spring tines. I believe that's how you say that. Uh, spring tines plus shields, discs, discs plus shields, and then back to spring. Uh, design, we got old, we got new. That just moves the lettering, it looks like. Uh, design, GH, GHF, and then back to GH. Uh, rollers, we have cage roller, we have tooth packer, double cage roller, and cage roller. Uh, let's see, warning signs without. Warning signs, warning signs plus lights, and then without. So that is the Ray Bluebird 3000. Okay, and after that one, we got our first tractor for today. This is the Dutch Fur D16006, which I know I probably just butcher that name. I always do with this one. But anyways, this is $45,000. It is 160 horsepower. This is under the medium tractor section. It is 18 slots on this one. Options, let's see, rim color, you got red, gray, or black. Main color, you got green, black, municipal orange, or industrial yellow. Real brand, we have, let's see, lizard. We have trailborg, or back to lizard. Trailborg, you have standard. You have twin wheels, and then back to standard. Motor covers, no. Yes. Plus decals, and then back to no. Cabin, you have no. Yes. Attachers, you have standard. Plus three hitch, which probably puts in the back. Yes. Okay, so let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, here we are in game to take a look at the DFD16006. Okay, let's get into this one real quick. Okay, so let's put on the help window so we can see the controls. Okay, so here is the interior. Really nice interior. I wish we had the universal passenger on console. Uh, but this is pretty nice. Let's see, map size, horn. Uh, looks like that is about it. Okay, let's see, one set of lights, two. So it looks like two sets of lights on this one. Turn signals, yes. Okay, let's turn it over. Okay, nice sounds. Dashboard all does light up. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet and turn this thing back on and off so you guys can hear it. So hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's see, top speed is 15 miles an hour, so I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can actually hear that too. Okay, so there we go right there, really nice. Oh, that looks nice right there, wow. Okay, so this is a nice tractor. Nice medium-sized tractor. Let's go good with the new John Deere. Okay, I used to not be much into the articulated tractors, but I lately, yeah. Okay, so that is the DFD16006. 
Okay, and the next pack to go over is the TCM runner pack. And this is, of course, an ICR runner stuff. So this, of course, will be good with the hook lifts. Oh okay, yeah, the first one we got though is the Granite Transport Tipper, which is 5,600, seven slots, holds up to 30,000 liters. Let's see, options, we got main color, any color, so you can have it as chance as pink. Uh, we got without warning signs, you can put with warning signs, which probably puts it on the door, I'm guessing. Capacity is 30,000 liters, 20,000, 15,000, 10,000, so we're up to 10,000 on that one. Okay, then also, if you go over to the miscellaneous section, we have the transporter, which is 3,700, five slots on that one. And we got, let's see, any colors, you can have it as Sam's purple. And then of course we got design standard, ramp, stakes, stake, stakes plus ramp, and then back to standard. So that is the TCM runner pack. Okay, and the last regular mod for today we have is the VSR Tech 360. Let's see, it is $450, five slots. It is under the miscellaneous section, and this is pretty much lights and a weight. So let's see options on this one. Design, any color, main color, any color. Then Brad's, we have the Echo 650, the Echo 1100, the Echo 1500, the Echo 2300, the Sur 700 1000, the Sur 1600 2400, Pickup 900, Pick up 1150, pick up 1800, and then back to the Echo. There's a lot of options on this one. Okay, so that's the VSR Tech 360. Okay, let's get into the placeable buildings for the day. Okay, the first buildings for today is the half timbered building set, which of course this is a set. So there's a couple buildings with this pack. Let's see, the first one we got is the half tempered barn, which is 95,000, 20 slots on this one. So let's go ahead and place this one down. It does take up a good amount of space. So we got that one right there. Then if you go under the silo section, we have a half timber barn plus house, which is 165,000, holds up to 250,000 liters. As you guys can see from the cropped stuff right there, pretty much your regular crops. And it is 28 slots on this one. Wow, but this does look really nice though. Look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and place that one. And if you go to animal pens, it also comes with something on here, the half timber pig stable, which is 125,000, holds 25 pigs, 18 slots on this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and place that one. You can even place it like, you know, right next to that if you want to, which I'm gonna do that real quick. Just put it right there. And then I think that is it on that pack. Let me just make sure real quick. Uh, yes, okay, so there's three of those buildings right there. And these are some really nice models. Wow. Okay, let's see, can you climb up there? Yes, you can. You can climb up there. Okay, and this should be where the light switch is. Yep, there it is right there. So nice storage area. Door opens right there, and you got another storage area. Those open. So this one is the shed part, and this one is the house with the shed. Does that door open? There it is. I mean, there's plenty of room on here. Does, these, does this house actually open up too? No, it doesn't. Okay, but these do open up. And of course, this one also has the silo on it right there. So this is a drive-through silo. Open up. And where is the spout for? It's gotta be somewhere over here. Is there more storage right over here too? Looks like it. Yes, there is. Okay. Um, I'm trying to look for the spout. I don't see it. Oh, right here. Okay, so here is where you get your grain out. So that's nice. And then of course over here we have the pig part of it. So let's go in right here. Okay, let's go ahead and see if this door opens. Yes, it does. So we got some storage right back here too. Uh, I'm trying to look, okay, that looks like the feeding troughs right there. Lights are right over here. I'm thinking, yeah, there they are. Okay, oh, that door all opens. I don't know where the trigger is though. Maybe right here, yeah, there it is right there, okay. So let's go ahead and get a few real quick. So there they all are, really nice. I like this model pack though. Okay, so that right there guys is the half tempered building set. So it includes three pieces of buildings. Okay, and the next one after that is the twin silage shed. This is $90,000, 11 slots, and this is from our good friend, Lancy Boy. Okay, let's see. Let's place this down real quick. It does snap. And you can just see right there from the, there's decorations on this. So yeah. Okay, so there it is right there. Yeah, look at that, it's old tires. Oh, this looks really nice. Looks like a light switch right here. Yes, that turns on all that. Really nice silage pits. Yeah, these are silage pits. 
Wow, these, uh, yeah. Uh, I know what silage pits I'm going to be using now. These are some really nice silage pits. Okay, I probably said that already. Okay, so there is the first one from him. We got another one to look forward to. Let's go over here. Let's go under silos. And there it is right there. This is the grain storage facility. Holds up to 500,000 liters. And you guys can see it pretty much can hold anything. So that is a good plus right there. 27 slots and we have it in green or red. Let me get the red one. And let's just put it right over here. There we go. And you know this is going to be good. This is from Lancy Boy too. So really good models right there. And this one looks like it could match with that one if you made it the same color. Oh, yeah. I like all the signs on it. Uh, really nice. Wow. All right. Let's go over here. Let's turn the lights on. So it's got lights. Everything lights up. I mean, really nice. Okay. So that is the grain storage facility. Okay. We got one, two, three, four, five more placeables to get to. We actually got a lot of placeables today. Okay, and the next one after that is the brick shed. 6,215 slots on this one. And this is, of course, under the shed part. Let's see. Let's go ahead and place that real quick right there. Okay, so there it is right there. I like that old kind of look right there, old bricks. And yeah, of course, there's two bays right here, so you can put your vehicles. So that is the brick shed. After that one, we got some more silage pits. Let's see. This is the bunker silo MVP 19. $230,000, nine slots on this one. So let's go ahead and play. Wow, this thing. Okay, you're going to need some room with this. Jeez. I don't know if I'm going to be able to even place it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to place it. Why is that one like floating up there? Okay, I can place it right there. Okay, so you're going to get uh, a lot of pits with this one. Jeez. You're going to need some room too. So let's go up here. Yeah, flatten all that land out. Okay, so we got what well, one pit, two pits, three pits, four pits, five pits. This one huge, and six pits. So yeah, you have some. Uh, yeah, you have some room right here. How, wonder how much these actually hold. Jeez. Okay, so that right there is the bunker style MVP nineteen. Okay, and the next one we have is the slurry cell point, which is actually these two right here. Twenty five hundred for the buy point and 5,000 for the sell point. 11 slots on these. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and place these real quick. So this is where you can buy some. And this is of course where you can sell some, which this one looks a lot bigger than the other one. Hopefully I can place it. I'm running out of room over here. There's so many placeables. Might not have any room. Huh, can I place it right there? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think I'm out of room, guys. Um, <laughs> oh wait, right there, there we go, okay. So we got, we placed it. Okay, so there is the buy point right here. So just go up here and you can buy some slurry. And then the sell point is right over here. So this is where you can sell some. Okay, it also should have it on the map, does it? Let's see. Okay, yes it does right here we sell. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, so that's the sell point. That's the buy point. I just can't believe what it says on the map. So if we go over here, there it is right there. Here's here we buy cows. Yeah. So let's see. It should have price in there. There it is right there. It is lower than the biogas plant though. Okay, so there is the slurry sell point. Okay, let's get to the next placeable, which if we go under miscellaneous, I believe it's right there. Wood cell, which is actually sawmill. $35,000. Let's see. It is nine slots on this one. I am completely broke, so I'm going to have to sell some stuff to buy it. Okay, so here we are. I got some money finally. Okay, let's just place this one right here. So all this is is pretty much a sell area. So it looks like you put your lumber right there, and you can go ahead and just click it right there, and you can sell your trees. So let's see if it's actually in the store. Go right over here. Uh, yes, sawmill right there. So $175 for that. So really nice. And then it should be also, okay, it's not on there, though. Okay, that's just weird seeing that right there. <laughs> and what is that one? That's your silo. Okay, so we got one more mod to go over, and this is the Christmas market trees. 
So if you're going to miscellaneous, they are right there. We got Christmas Market Trees Passive Income, which is $40 an hour. I am under new farmer mode. It is six lots. And then we have Christmas Tree Selling Station. So I believe you use this for uh, basically your, I believe it just gives you regular income. And then I believe this one, you might be able to sell maybe some trees or something, I'm thinking. And then of course, if you go into decoration, we also have the decoration version of that one, Christmas Market Trees, which is six slots. And then you have a Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and place the Christmas tree. Let's go ahead and place the decoration. And then if we go over to miscellaneous, and this is, let's see, six slots for both of these right here. So this one should give us money every hour. And this one, I'm thinking it's gonna take wood. All right, so there's that. Let me go ahead and bring the help menu up just in case. So if we go to the store icon, so is there a, I don't see nothing on there, so, hmm. But it looks like they do sell, I mean, you're supposed to get something, but I don't sell wood. Okay, so you can sell wood right over here. And then this one right here is just for to get passive income. And this is the decoration one. And this is the Christmas tree one. And you can actually play music. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't want to get copyright claim. Okay, I'm getting away from them. I think it's loud. Okay. So there is all the placeables for today. A lot of new placeables. Of course, we did get some updates. So let's go over those updates real quick. Okay, and so the first update for today is for the Corsetto pack. What did this change? They added the new trailers. That's it on those. So there is the first update for today. The next update for Transport Trailer 25M. What did this change? Corrected colors, adjusted physics, rear hitch correction, limited uh, rear hitch rotation and vertical rotation added, improved work on the uneven terrain, and vehicle straps capability for the PC and Mac on that one. The next one, the John Deere 8000 container carrier. What did this change? Reversing sound was added. The turning radius has been reduced by 5% and other minor adjustments on that one. Next one after that one, the old style farmhouse with barn. What did this change? Reworked model and reworked textures on that one. Then we have the machine shed with workshop. The change log on this one, texture fixes, model fixes, added decos. And then the last one, the placeable solar panels. What did this change? New added the sounds of electronics working in the solar panel, green indicator during the day, and also add a low battery alarm in the solar panel, red indicator at night. Okay, so that was all the new mods and updates for today. Today's schedule after this video, of course, will come out the new FS Daily News video, so make sure you guys do check that out. But anyways, we got a lot of amazing mods today. Let me know down in the comment section below which one was your guys' favorite. Also, I know we weren't supposed to get any, so I just hope this keeps on happening until January 11th. I mean, it's nice to still get mods. Well, hopefully you guys have a Merry Christmas. We have, what, three more days to Christmas. Remember, on Christmas, no videos on that day. So have an awesome day, guys. Have a happy holidays. And uh, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't subbed, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an awesome day, farmers. Peace.